Hi folks, here we are at Koishikawa Korakuen and it is one of the oldest parks in Tokyo. It's a beautiful day today, so we're going to go into this park which was built in the 1700s by a daimyo lord and who based it on Chinese design. And uh, we're going to go in and relax and enjoy the park because it's one of the serenity spots, one of the two I have left. And today my cohorts are Shivdi, hello, and the beautiful sidekick Hiroko. So let's go in and enjoy some serenity, shall we? Here we start off our serenity walk with a lovely view of the garden and a concert going on in the background of Tokyo Dome. But as always, even though these gardens are 400 years old, you can see the giant skyscrapers in the distance and the ever-present Indians in the foreground and the beautiful sidekicks, wherever you go. It's been a while since I've come to a park. Concert, where not playing would be nicer, but we can live with that. I wonder how old these trees are. They're beautiful. I think I showed you this style of protecting the trees and keeping their shape when we were in Ishikawa looking at Kendokuen. When you can see how they use posts to hold up the branches and keep their form and shape. This waterfall was made during the time of Harumori, the sixth lord of the Mito Tokuyawa family. It looked like a thousand threads and was called a waterfall of white strings. This house is in the model of a sake house found in the countryside during the Edo period and the original actually burned down during an air raid in 1945 and it was rebuilt. Here's a small island in the middle of the lagoon or the pond in the middle of the park. This monument was erected in dedication to the beloved falcon which was the seventh lord of Mito Tokugawa family and it died so the eighth lord erected this monument for the falcon. Shiv, you brought up a very interesting point regarding this monument. Would you please relate that to all of our, all of our followers out there today? All of our? Followers today? Um, yeah, just look at this here closely again and okay. you notice that the writing on the lower part of this is very smooth. As, and if someone had chiseled it in, it doesn't quite show. And I'm still surprised how nicely it was done that time the lotus pond it seems that in the old days they could cross over but not now this man-made mountain is called Kisoyama as old trees shading sunlight and a winding road along a mountain stream reminded people of the Kiso highway one of the main highways to Kyoto it's also called Shuroyama, or Palm Trees Mountain, because there are a lot of palm trees. This is a path that heads off to Hakundai Atoll. It's really quite serene in here, if you ask me. Of course, this is a man-made park in Tokyo, but it's designed to look entirely built to look like the forests and the mountains and it's amazing it really does and after walking along the dark mountain path and crossing the streams from this height white clouds or hakun and brown indians could be seen from the guma prefecture far far away it really does give you the impression that you're in an actual forest in the mountains doesn't it the way it's yes, it built does. Absolutely. Very interesting feeling. Hiroko, what's your impression of this garden? Mm, it's very quiet. But this park is made for 
Chinese. Chinese design? Design? Doesn't seem right. Yorifusa, the first lord of Mito Tokugawa, built a small shrine to niche the statue of Saigyo. The monu monument inscribed with a poem of Saigyo was erected by the wife of the ninth lord. The shrine was burned down during the air raids in 1945. And now, it looks like this. These stone steps were made to imitate a famous sightseeing spot in China, West Lake. Many gardens of feudal, feudal lords followed this style. This is a miniature dike of its original at the fine lake Shihu or West Lake of Chechang province of China. This river was named after a river running through Kyoto, Arashimaya. The third shogun of Tokugawa government, Iemitsu, often visited this garden and gave some advice. There were linear baskets put on both sides of the rivers and water was drawn through a duct from Kanda water supply system. In Edo period, they enjoyed a clear stream. Iemitsu, the third shogun, would often come to this stream in this park and sit by the rocks and contemplate stuff. This area is built to design and copy a temple, Kanando, in Kyoto, looking out over the heights. Here's a view from an imitation of Tsutenkyo, which is a bridge in Kyoto. So Shiv, to end this Serenity video, um, what would you say your impressions are of this uh, Koishikawa Koraku En and your recommendations for future people who might come and want to visit some parks in Tokyo? I like the garden. I'm still trying to find the full moon bridge. We haven't found it, but I recommend that you do that when you're here. And Japanese gardens are lovely as always. So whenever you come to Japan, always go to some garden or the other. See you later. Bye. So yeah, for Azure, as you may be. This is your first geocache, have you? How did you feel about finding your first geocache? It's terribly exciting. I couldn't say it in words. You won't be able to sleep tonight, right, from the excitement? I'm sure I won't. Are you ready for your next geocache? Yes. Of course, but first of all, let's go and get some wine. Yeah. Wine and women in song? Maybe it'll be harder to find after the wine. Maybe. But we'll see. Let's go and search for some wine. Okay.